And our politics lead shifting with the political winds. Arizona Republican Blake Masters won the support of Trump and the far right in his Senate primary by supporting Trump's lies in the 2020 election and tacking hard right. Having secured the nomination, Masters is now trying the old etch sketch and changing his position or at least hiding them on many of the most hotly debated issues, seeking to try to reach uh, independent voters who make up a third of voters in Arizona who determine elections, as well as moderate Republicans in Arizona. But as CNN's Kyung Law reports for us now, Democrats are now using Masters' own words against him. Please join me in welcoming Blake Masters. Arizona Republican Senate nominee Blake Masters pledges he's paving a path for the new political right. Who's ready to beat Mark Kelly? But first, Masters needs Arizona voters like John Kane to get behind him. If he doesn't turn his head around, okay, he's going to lose the election. Are you concerned about him? Absolutely. He runs an ad on TV, and then at the end it says, independent for Arizona. I said, what? It's the general election pivot, trying to appeal to independents who make up roughly a third of registered voters in Arizona. They've made a whole party out of just dividing people. In this speech, Masters focuses on the border, inflation, and crime. Republicans have a plan to make our families safe again, to make this country prosperous again, and to make everybody free again. Does that sound extreme to you? But the edgy rhetoric and imagery that marked his primary was missing. This is designed to kill people. The primary candidate who doubted the 2020 election results. I think Trump won in 2020. And downplayed the January 6th insurrection. It wasn't a coup. It wasn't an insurrection. Uh, this was trespassing. Didn't mention Donald Trump in this room. I'm pro-life and I'm proud to be pro-life. I will never run away from that. But he has altered his campaign website, scrubbing strict anti-abortion language, and he's backed off from this primary position. Maybe we should privatize Social Security, right? Private retirement accounts, get the government out of it. To this in the general election. Don't want to privatize it. They, um, you know, that was probably a misstatement by me. I'm saying the same stuff I said in the primary, right? The Democrats in charge have failed. They've delivered nothing but chaos and pain. We're pushing back. We've got a beautiful America first agenda. Uh, I was proud to campaign on that for more than a year, and that's exactly what I'm campaigning on now. So you're saying the message is exactly the same as it was before the primary? Asked and answered. The Senate Leadership Fund, the super PAC to help elect Republicans, canceled $8 million in planned ad spending to boost Masters this month. Blake Masters, too dangerous for Arizona. Blake At the same Masters time as incumbent Democratic abortion, Senator Mark Kelly and allies are pouring millions into ads, using Masters' words against him. We can't trust Blake Masters with our retirement. Your incredible Senator Mark Kelly! Kelly, one of the Senate's most endangered incumbents, has 20 times the amount of cash on hand compared to Masters and vows to continue calling out the contrast between the candidates. Well, I think it's important that Arizonans know what each of us stand for, and I think that's pretty clear. I think all elections are about choices, you know, you know and, and they're, they're pretty obvious choices. Now, this week, we got a little more clarity from Masters about his exact position, the specifics on abortion. Uh, he says that he will back Senator Graham's 15-week uh, abortion restriction. Now, um, in the primary, when he was running in the primary, he said that he backed a federal personhood law. And he also wrote on his website, quote, always work to protect life from conception. Jake. All right, Kyung Law, thanks so much.